Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Good day, Derek Thieler. Thank you for joining me on the Pelder BB Show. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm so excited to talk with you because November is American Diabetes Month. I'm doing a really big uh, health fair, and, 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 and my show's the center of attention on Saturday. All right. And you know those people, according to what I read, every 28 seconds, someone is diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Mm-hmm. How can I help them change their lives? Well, you know, personally, I actually am a type 1 diabetic, so it's a little bit different. But um, in, in, in the same vein, um, I, I'm, wor- I'm working uh, to try to bring awareness of both the disease and the new technologies available to treat the disease. And I'm sorry, I forgot to, I left you out. I'm so sorry. There will be both types of diabetics there, I'm sure. <laughs> so I want them to be able to walk away with useful information. I want to tell them I talked to Derek Thaler, and uh-huh. he told me this information. Great. So, okay, November is American Diabetes Month. What awareness do people, if you have the disease, you're going to be the smartest person in the room. Um, you, I, you cut out for a second there. What, what did you just say? Well, I'm just saying if you have the disease, uh-huh. what else can I add to your information knowledge about the management and the diagnosis of the disease? Right. Um, well, basically, if, if you're a type 1, which is, which is what I have, it's, it's very similar to type 2 as well. But it's important to keep your, your blood sugar regulated in a certain range. And um, without, uh, without insulin, then your, your, you know, your, your blood sugar levels go up and down. And there's a, I want to express that there's a lot of different technologies to keep your blood sugar in check. And um, one of them that I work with currently is, is Dexcom. And that's, um, that's a continuous glucose monitoring system. So there's an app that goes right to your phone, tells you what your blood sugar is almost continuously. Every five minutes you get a check so you get to see where it's been and also where it's headed, which is very important. And you get alerts whenever you get outside of your range. Okay. Also, too, I'm getting a Facebook post. Someone wants to know what's the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And you and I, neither of us are doctors, but yeah. type 1, uh, are, are you born with it? Type 2, you can acquire it? Exactly. They normally say that you're born with it because it's, uh, it's a juvenile onset. So you normally get it before the age of, of 16. And then uh, that, that's normally not due to anything in your control, type 1 is. And type 2, uh, type 1 is also, you know, sometimes genetic. But type 2 is, is either genetic or also it, it's from um, living, you know, having poor health, health choices or uh, uh, unstable, unstable lifestyles that uh, you would then contract type 2 diabetes and have trouble monitoring your blood sugar. Okay, so you have to monitor your blood sugar all the time, and you've got all of these inventive tools. Right. Yeah. There's uh, technology has come a long way since since even I was a kid when we used to have to give ourselves injections. Now there's things like insulin pumps and also uh, CGMs, continuous glucose monitoring systems. And I use one from Dexcom, and it's uh, it's what I just what I just spoke about. It's an app to your phone that tells you what your blood sugar is constantly and lets you know if you're getting inside or outside the range. And also um, that there's a, a portion of the app that. Uh, other people in your family or, or in your, your close circle can get alerts when your blood sugar is out of range. So it's, it's, very, uh, it's a very helpful, uh, helpful item monitoring the disease. Yes, and it will probably stop those uh, critical situations because blood sugar is so critical to our body, which I am just learning. <laughs> Let me ask you this. They say you had an inspirational message for my audience. What can you say to my audience who are maybe on the path, the same path that you are? Yeah, uh, I guess one, one of my main messages is uh, when I was growing up, there wasn't somebody that I could relate to as a type 1 diabetic who, who, was, in, uh, who was in the public eye. And, and since I've 
ha found some success and been working in television. I, I want to I want to try to be somewhat of that. And I think it's important to uh, to all of those type one diabetics or people around type one diabetics. I, I want them to believe that they can achieve their goals and diabetes won't hold them back because there's so many different ways to treat their disease. As long as they're responsible and they take it seriously, then they can they can basically do whatever they want. Well, Derek, you're, you're one of the uh, uh, actors in Baby Daddy, and you're going into your sixth season. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, we, uh, we are about to start production on our sixth season, so we're going to hit 100 episodes. That's pretty exciting. Well, congratulations, and it's exciting because you still have a regular life no matter what you have going on in your personal life, so I commend you on that. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a challenge, especially with... Uh, with the type of lifestyle and job that I have, I, you know, I have very early call times. I have really late nights. Eating isn't always on schedule, but um, it's, it's, it's great to, be, uh, to have this job. I'm very fortunate and also fortunate to be able to take care of my diabetes in a, in a positive way. Well, we're very fortunate that you spoke directly to my audience because I know there are people with both types of diabetes there, and I hope. I hope this has some impact on him, Derek Thaler. Thank you so very much for being my guest. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me.